And this is one of those things that nobody believes me if I tell them, so I don't tell people this. Mm -hmm. But when I was very little, my parents had my crib in their bedroom, and it was against the wall next to the door. And I woke up in the middle of the night, and, you know, nobody's supposed to remember things before they're five, but I do. I woke up in the middle of the night, and I heard talking, and I was like, what is that? So I stood up leaned over the bars and looked around the corner into the hallway and there were these two things walking down the hallway and they were talking but their mouths weren't moving which was kind of weird and I was really really scared so I pulled the cover over my head and lay down and then that was all I remember and it was many 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 years later when I first heard about Whitley Striver mm -hmm. or Whitley Strieber and his communion book came out with that freaky picture on the cover. Of the gray. <laughs> of the gray. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. That's like what I saw. And we lived in upstate New York and weird things happened and people saw things in the sky all the time. And there was a, I think it was in the 70s, there was a big sighting in the middle of the night. There was an explosion and my mom woke up the whole house was orange on the inside from the light of the explosion. She thought the house was on fire, but they explained it away as a military exercise, but that, you know, five minutes later, all the jets from the airport had scrambled and the house was, the sky above the house was still in military jets. But there's just a lot of weird things that happen in upstate New York. Mm 